Yeah. Yeah, recording. Thank you. Hello, Sahasra. Sorry for this little. You all said first that you're not able to hear me properly. So I tried to adjust it and it couldn't happen like that. Anyway, now you can hear me. All of you can hear me, isn't it? Can everybody hear me? Hello? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. We can hear you. Today we are going to have, we'll start with the Nikhilam Sutra. Nikhilam Sutra, I'm going to take you to the whiteboard first. You can share the whiteboard with me. Nikhilam Sutra. Nikhilam Navatash Charamam Dashataha. That is the name given to the sutra. Navatash Charamam means what? Navatash Charamam. Charamam means last. Means all the numbers. You can write down in your book. All the numbers are subtracted from 9 except the last one. The meaning itself shows what? Suppose we need to do subtraction of this number 42 minus 15 or 40 minus 15 let's take that way also doesn't matter this is 40 minus 15 how do you subtract this number tell me what would you do here? Ma'am, carry over. Ma'am, we will add 5 to 0 and 1 dot over 1. Mm -hmm. So the answer will be 25. Very good. We, in the regular mathematics, you must be make this cutting this 4 and making it a 3 and make this a 10. Don't you do that? 10 minus 5 gives me... 5 and 3 minus 1 gives me 2. Is that clear? Suppose I subtract 99. How do you subtract this number? Add 1 to yeah. 0 which is 1. You cut this number. 0 1. Yeah. Zero plus. Cut this number. Make it 9. So 10 minus 9, 1. 9 minus 9, 0. So this is how the last number is always subtracted from 10. And the other numbers are subtracted from 9. That is the rule. This is called Nikhilam Sutra. But how am I going to use the Nikhilam Sutra? It's a wonderful method. Now I'm going to write a few numbers here. <coughs> 9 is closer to 10 rather than 100. Do you follow me or not? 8 yes, is closer to
What about twelve? Twelve is close to ten. Close to ten. Yes. 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 I couldn't follow you. What do you want? No, I'm not understanding it now. Now, 99. Now, 99 tell me. 99. It's closer to what number? 99, if I write, is it closer to 10 or 100? Isn't it? 99 100. is closer to 100. 82 is also closer to yes, 100. 100. 102 is also closer to ma'am. Please take 100. down this. Write down in your copy. Ma'am, can you repeat the name of this sutra? Nikhila. Here I've written, I'll clear it. Little bit of, uh, it's not written properly. I'll just erase it. Ma'am, is 50 is closer to 10 or 100? 50 is closer to 10, right? No, it is closer to 100. Uh, yeah, it is closer to, closer 10. to 10. 102 also is closer to 100. Even 110 is closer to 100. 100. But if I write nine, 999, it's closer to what? Close to 1,000. Close to 1,000. Very good. Even 988 is closer to 1,000. Ma'am? Hmm. Ma'am, I'm not understanding the song which you wrote, ma'am. Not? The song it which you wrote, ma'am. Oh, what is that you didn't understand? Ma'am, what have you written? Navatash Chara, ma'am. Ma'am, the sum which you wrote on the board, ma'am. Uh, which sum did you write? 30 minus 15? You are not to look there now. Ma'am, that the word I have, now, I have started right? explaining at the bottom. You must see where I am. That was done earlier in the class. You are still on that sum only. Ma'am, what is that written? The word? Uh, except. No, All no, ma'am, the sum. 40 minus 15. 100 minus 99. Those are the two sums I wrote. Okay. I'm showing you how we normally in regular. Ma'am, I'm telling you, uh, I didn't understand how you did them, ma'am. Is it like you did them with normal math or Vedic math? How you did them? This is this subtraction was done in regular maths to show you that last number is always subtracted from 10 and all other numbers are from 9. So in Vedic maths, we don't subtract like this. But I'm going to start with Nikhilam Sutra. Navatars Charamam means the last is from 10, all others from 9. So I'm going to the next page and write the full sutra. Navatash Charamum Dashataha Ma'am, 
मैम दैट इज नवलाश और ताश दिस इज अ निखिलम स्टार्टिंग विद निखिलम मल्टीप्लिकेशन द नंबर्स विच आर वेरी क्लोजर टू टेन और हंड्रेड विल टेक द बेस इज कॉल्ड टेन If I want to multiply nine by eight, you all know the answers. What is nine eight? Sir, seventy two. Seventy two. But here in Vedic math, we will write nine, which is one less than ten. This way. This minus is for one less than eight is. Two less than ten. Base here is a ten. Now here only will multiply. Nowhere else. One multiplied by two will give me two. Two. Now the other side, either I can go this way. Eight minus one. Or I can go this way. Nine minus two. How much is that number? Seven. Very good. So you got this seventy-two or not? Your answer. We got the answer seventy-two. Nine eight or seventy-two? You got or not? Yes, ma'am. We got seventy-two. Okay. So how do I do the multiplication? Nine. I write as nine one less than ten. Eight is two less than ten. Then I multiply the corner numbers only. Two and one, and write it as two. And eight minus one gives me a seven. Now we'll do another number. In this also base will be. Ma'am. Yeah. Ma'am, I was checking that verification technique, so I found a sum on which that was not working. Can you please tell that? Yeah. Yeah. Let me finish this part, then I'll tell you. Now okay, nine, nine is one less than ten. How much seven is less than ten? Three less than ten. Three. Now what do I do? What is answer I write here? One into three, which is equal to three. Okay. On the other seven side. Seven minus seven minus one, which is equal to six. I can go. The answer seven is seven minus six. one comes to six. Six. Is the answer, answer is right or wrong? Yes, ma'am, it's correct. Okay. Suppose I have eight times seven. Now, how do I write eight equal to? Seven is uh, uh, eight is uh, two. Uh, how do I write here eight? Minus two is equal minus to two. Minus three. Minus, minus, two. minus three here. Then minus what do I do? And then two into three, which is six. Six. And, and then seven minus two or eight minus three, which is equal to five. Very good. Nicely, you have understood. Now we will go in for um, seven five. Shall we go? No. Ma'am, is this applicable for two-digit number also? Yeah, any digits we can do, but the number should be very close to the base. Now, if I take seven times six. Seven is closer to the base ten, but six is not very closer. It is minus four. Now how do I do? Tell me. Three into four, which is twelve. You carry. Twelve. You put two yeah. and then carry one. Yeah. When I have a one. twelve, I can only keep a two here. This one will be down the turn. Now six minus and three will give me a three. Three plus one. Two plus very one. Good. Very good. That's how it is. If the number is not very close, we'll have to do this way. So suppose my number is uh, eight times five. Eight is minus two. This is five. Minus five. So what do I do? Two into five. Hmm. Uh, ten. Uh, put ten. zero and uh, one okay. is Very carry good. over. Then five minus. And then two five minus eight. two or eight minus five. Uh, five. Three plus uh, one. 
Got, got it? This much clear? Did you get it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Please take down in your book. And somebody was asking doubts from verification. Please tell me what is that? Ma'am, the number was one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, nine, four, three. Hmm. Divided by eleven. Ma'am, the answer was one, one, two, two, three, five, eight, and the remainder was five. Okay, one eleven, one thirteen. Then it will come to how much? One. Then two. Twenty four two times. Twenty two. That is two. Then comes twenty five. That also two times. Twenty five minus twenty two gives me a three. Then I will take a thirty nine. That will go for three times. That will come to thirty three. Then six two six comes to sixty six. But five only I can take. Five is fifty five. Seven and last is three. So that is equal to six. And the remainder is a seven. Now, what is your doubt? Tell me. In verification, we will find out the digit sum of the dividend. What is the dividend's digit sum? Nine, I will cut here. Five and four, I will it cut comes here. Three plus two plus one, six plus three, I will cut. What is the digit sum of the dividend? It is two. Now, divisors. Digit sum is also two. Look at the digit sum of this number: six three five four. This is two. Now, when we divide a number, the quotient will be multiplied by the divisor. So two times two gives me this. Two times two gives me a four. But there is a reminder here. I have to add the reminder. It comes to eleven. Eleven is nothing but digit sum two. So your dividend digit sum and this digit sum are same. Got it? That yes, ma'am. Yeah, but don't worry. I won't give you such big um, division sums for verification. It will be simple, but okay, nice. You, you should understand. Whatever you do, you should be able to understand it. In any division, we multiply the quotient by the divisor, and that multiplication digit sum should be equal to the dividends digit sum. Okay. If it is not, then your answer is wrong. Here we have proved that we are right. I multiplied here. Two by two, that gave me a four. But there is a reminder. Remind if there is no reminder, no problem. You don't need to add. But there is a reminder, so add reminder to the number here. It comes to eleven, which is also two. May I go on to the next page now? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Now I'm going to take up numbers like this. Twelve multiplied by thirteen. Twelve is two more than ten. Twelve is two more than ten. Thirteen is three more than ten. So how do I write them? This is equal to twelve plus two. This is equal to thirteen plus three. Do you understand the way I wrote? This is not to be misunderstood as twelve plus two fourteen. Twelve plus two means two more than ten. Are you able to understand? Hello. 
Yes, ma'am. Now I am going to multiply the quadrant of that. Two threes are six. And thirteen plus two. It's not minus now. Plus two, which will be equal to fifteen. So your answer is one hundred and fifty-six. We'll do this next sum. Twelve is written as twelve. Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah. Yes. Ma'am, here in twelve plus two, ma'am, instead of adding thirteen plus two, we can also add twelve plus three, right? Very good. Very good observation. I appreciate it. Or you can write thirteen plus two. Very good observation. I appreciate. What is your name? Ma'am, Akash. Akash, very good. Either way you can do. Now I am going to multiply twelve by fourteen. Two fours are eight. Eight. Fourteen plus two is equal to sixteen. Sixteen. The answer is one six eight. One hundred and sixty-eight. Now after this. We can have little bigger number also, fifteen times fourteen. Now, how do we write fifteen? Ten plus five. Ma'am, can you do a number thirty-six into twenty-five? I'll do later. Fifteen is written as fifteen plus five. Fourteen is written as fourteen plus four. When I multiply here, what number do I get? Five fours are twenty. But how will I write twenty this way? Ma'am, first you write zero, zero and then take zero as carry. Ma'am, and then fourteen plus five. That means it's nineteen nine and nineteen plus two, ma'am. The answer is twenty. That's only get the answer. Very good. You got the right answer. When the numbers are bigger, you have to carry or carry them under like this. Try and understand. Fifteen is fifteen plus five. Fourteen is fourteen plus four. Five fours are twenty. It is written this way. Then either for fifteen plus four or fourteen plus five, that gives you ninety. So the answer is two hundred and ten. Now we'll go to a size slightly. Bigger number. Suppose I want to multiply ninety-nine by ninety-eight. What is my base? Tell me. Ma'am, hundred. Very good, hundred. Ninety-nine will so, be. So it is minus one. Minus not one and minus one, two. Not minus one. It's a two-digit number. So we have to write minus zero one. Zero. This one will be minus zero two. two. Because it's a two-digit number. If it's a one-digit number like this, I mean, not one digit. It is even. It is two digits closer to ten. Then we can write this only one one number as the plus two plus four. When the number is bigger and very closer to hundred, we have to write it like this. Now zero one multiplied by zero two is. Ma'am, if the number is. Uh, sixty-eight. So it is closer to hundred or ten. It's closer to hundred. Ma'am, but then the answer. Ma'am, is that method possible? I'll do that. I'll do that sir. problem for you. Now let me finish this one so that we are not cut off from the big beginning. Now ninety-eight minus one will give me ninety-seven. This part has everybody understood. Otherwise, tell me. Ma'am, understood. Okay. Your doubt was sixty-eight multiplied by what number? Thirty or something like thirty-five. Ma'am, thirty-six. Thirty-six. Okay. Ma'am, sixty-eight is closer to hundred because ma'am, it's coming after fifty. No, you can do easy method here. You can take the base as a ten. Thirty-six is twenty-six more than ten. Do you understand? 
68 is yes. how much more than 10? 58. more than. Now, this is not an easy number. So, this method will not be applicable. Nikhilam is not useful for these numbers. These, these means such numbers. The numbers which are away from 10, which are away from 100, it's not. For this another method, I'll tell later as we progress. So don't do this way. Suppose I have got 98 multiplied by 95. Now how? I will write it as minus zero. Minus zero two. It is minus zero two and, and minus, minus zero, zero five. Five okay. twos are. And then five ten. Two. Put a zero and carry over one. Now, both digits I can write here. Not like this one. Because this was single here. Here it is. This is double digit. So, you can write two numbers together. Now, 95 minus... The answer is 910. This is 93. So, this is the answer now. Ma'am, why not 9400? Uh, you understand this 10? When? Ma'am, actually... Uh, when the base is... Ma'am, actually I'm not understanding the sums, ma'am. It's alright. I'll do it once again. When the base is 100, it has two zeros. Write down all these things. So, from first, I'm not understanding the sum, man. That's why. So you can keep two digits in the right hand answer. Now look at the base five, 10. How many zeros are in base 10? Tell me. Base 10 has got how many zeros? One, 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 one zero. Only one. That's why I'm retaining only one digit. One digit. If I get two digits, then I put them down. I mean this, I mean here after answer what you wrote. The right hand answer. Yeah, right hand answer you have to write in everything. Right? The right hand answer is this. Okay. Because you need to write. Can you okay. explain the sums, ma'am? Okay. I'm not understanding them. 98 is multiplied by 95. 98 is 0, 2 less than 100. 95 is 0, 5. Ma how are just 2 and 5 coming, ma'am? Which one? Zero I'm asking how the two, two zero. and five means we have to uh, subtract hundred minus 98 and hundred minus ninety five, ma'am. Okay, subtract it now. Hundred minus ninety eight. How will you subtract it? Tell me. Ma'am, uh, we will add two to the zero above eight. We will put one Hello? dot on nine. So it will become ten. Then we will add 0 to the upper 0. It will come Mami. 0. Ma'am, you already wrote it. Ma'am, I'm, I'm asking about you already wrote the sum. No, ma'am, that's what I'm asking. Okay. I'm going back to because the time is out now. I will, I will have to call you once again. After the 40 minutes, they close it. So I'm going to recall you now. Okay. Um, the class will be over at um in ten minutes, ma'am. We have time. No, oh, here they are. And the meeting me. won't end. Here they are showing me. I have to take out next class. I have to take out. So I'm closing. No, ma'am. We have time. 
we have time ma'am we have yes, not ma 9 minutes and 7 time. seconds so because we went late no after you guys said you can't hear me i restarted the class by the time 20 minutes have passed so they are showing like yes ma'am now i'm going to ma once again call you ma'am ma ma'am and uh, ma i don't understand the sum ma'am I will rewrite the formula for it. Ma'am, your screen sharing is stop. Ma'am, I only stop screen sharing. I'm going to share the book with you now. Mom, I didn't understand how to do the sum. Yeah, I'll do once again. Can you see the chart here? Mom, we cannot see anything. You're not sharing. Okay, let me share it. Now see whether you are able to see. Are you able to see? This is a chart. This chart tells you. If hundred is the base, you can keep two. Numbers on the right side. If thousand is the base, then you can keep three numbers on the right side. That's what it's showing you. Ashita, are you able to hear me? All the others, where are they? Mom, can you explain the sum now? Yeah, I'll explain. Just a moment, I'll explain. Now, hundred when you are subtracting ninety-eight from hundred. Ten take away two, two. Then nine minus nine will give you zero. Do you follow now? Why ninety-eight is zero two less than hundred? Same thing about ninety-nine. This zero is zero one less than hundred. Zero one. Okay. Now hundred minus ninety-seven. This will be zero three. See here zero three. Okay. Suppose I have hundred and twelve. Hundred and twelve will be twelve more than hundred. Hundred and eleven will be eleven more. Eleven more than hundred. Now we can do all these four sums right now. Oh, these three are only subtractions. This is the sum. Twelve multiplied by eleven is how much? One one four. One forty four. One thirty two. One thirty two. Do you understand why I put thirty two on the right side? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, because a uh, hundred has two zeros. Ma'am, so I wrote only two digits. Very good because the base is hundred, which has two zeros. So I have to retain two digits here. Now when I go to this number, one twelve plus eleven is how much? One twenty three. Now 
I'll total the number. Two, three, four, two, one. How many could not understand? Tell me. Okay. Now let's go to this number. Ma'am, from the first sum, I'm not Ma understanding Ma'am, can you repeat once this one sum? Because of? Shall Ma I? Yes, from the first sum, I'm not understanding. No, I'll, I'll explain once again. 112 is 12 more than 100. 111 is 11 more than 100. Now, 12 times 11 gives me 132. I can only keep two digits. So, I've kept the two digits here. Third digit, I have brought them down. Then, I'm doing the cross addition. 112 plus 11 gives me 123. Now, final answer is 12,432. Yes, ma'am, understood. Thank you. Excuse me, ma'am. Now, how do I write 114? Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah. yeah. Ma'am, are these some homework which you have wrote 198, 199? Uh, I had given you some homework for verification. You remember that? You remember the chapter? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, verification technique. I had given you to find out the digit sum of many numbers. Did you do that? Yes, ma'am. Many, 50 okay. to something. It's you don't have any doubt, I suppose. Now, from now onwards, whatever homework I give you, you have to send it to me in WhatsApp. Is that clear? Okay, ma'am. Yeah. Whatever. I'm going to give you homework. You have to send it to me. Okay, now this will be 14, this will be 11. Now what is 14 times 11? 14 times Ma 11. Okay. Ma'am, 14 into 11, it is 4, 4, 4, 5. 4, 5. Kitna? How much it is? No, no, no. It is 154. 154. Yeah. 154. Before I will write down. And one carry. One I will write down. Now, 114 plus 11 is how much? Ma'am, 120, 125. Yes, ma'am, 125. So, what is the final answer? 12654. Ma'am, that means and one more twelve thousand eleven is one fifty four, ma'am. Twelve thousand six hundred and fifty four. Same thing. Ma'am, uh, yeah. Ma'am, uh, one hundred one one four into eleven. It is not one fifty four. I think, ma'am. How much is that? You tell me. If it is not right, then tell me. Multiply. Ma'am, it is one two. One two five four, one. ma'am. No, no. No, ma'am. Ma'am, it's only uh, one fifty four, not one two five four, ma'am. Yes, yes. Ma it's 154. yes, it can't be a four digit answer. It can be only a. Ma'am, because these two are two digit, and uh, we should get the answer in three digit. Yeah. So that uh, answer is wrong. Now suppose. Ma'am, means how are we multiplying one one four into eleven, ma'am? What is multiplying? We're multiplying here. We are adding here. Here only we multiply. Here we add. We don't multiply. This is.